I did not want to show up and not be um, encouraging or inspiring in any way. Like, so I have identified yet another trigger. It's not what's being done to me. It's what I'm needing to learn in this season, right? So I, I told the Lord permission to quit. I was like, it's either a lesson or it's an attack. And then the election happened and I just feel numb. Couldn't stop crying through it. And do that, do that, do that. Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Nicole, for those who don't know. And today, today was supposed to be a few days ago. This video has been in the making for like a whole week now. I recorded it, deleted it, attempted, couldn't stop crying through it. And so I was like, forget it. When I'm in a better mental space, I'll record it. So we have been on this journey of transformation and the last video I posted was about your your mindset and identifying your triggers and really having a plan to move past those triggers. And I thought I had identified all my triggers. And in fact, I did, except for one that I thought that I had grown past, that I have learned to navigate because I have been in this season so long that I'm like, Psh, I got that. No, mm -mm, no. So I have identified yet another trigger. And the only reason why I'm bringing this to you is because it affected my ability to really just want to move forward. So the title of this is Permission to Quit. And the reason being is because y'all, ever since that video and even before, it has been a struggle to show up in my everyday life, to show up here on YouTube, to be my best self, because I feel like I'm in a constant battle of like, I want to move forward. I want to progress with all this is hitting me and I just feel numb. That is the only word I can describe how I felt for the last maybe month or so. And like, I literally would just show up wherever I had to be at work at church, anything that I had to attend. And I, my face would literally be because I just felt numb. Like I, I was in this place where I'm like, God, I want to progress. Like I'm working on my mind. Like I'm identifying the things I need to identify. And then I feel like I get hit by something else. And it was like a constant attack. Um, and I knew when I posted that video that that's what was going to happen. So I was very numb. I took a break from YouTube just because I did not want to show up and not be um, encouraging or inspiring in any way. Like, I don't want to show up and and just be like, guys, life is so hard when it is. But that's just not what I wanted to portray because I want to be inspiring. But I also have to be honest about this transformation it's hard. It is really hard getting rid of your old attitudes, your old mindsets, especially when you are hit with things. And so, like I said, I struggled mentally. Like I was just like, I, I want to give up. It was like things were being done to me. Things were out of my control. And when I couldn't control what was happening, that is when I was yet again triggered. And so that is, I am a control freak. I am type A. I have a plan for everything. And when I could not, when I felt like I was losing control, I shut down. And I was like, oh, great. Like yet another thing I have to work on. So I was really just going through the motions, really not trying to be defeated, really trying to encourage myself. And I could just feel myself just like, just closing in and just shutting everything out and really ready to give up i told god like i had a i had a heart to heart and i was like god permission to quit and like it wasn't just it wasn't youtube affecting me it was work affecting me and things being done to me and things being done around me that affect me that nobody asked my opinion on um when i am in fact like the one they should be talking to. It was um, ministry. I just felt like I was constantly pouring out. And I'm like, who's there for me? It's home life because I am a mom 24 seven. And I was like, I just need a break. Like everything was closing in. And I did like let people help. But the weeks prior to that, I could not get help. Um, like my mom was sick. My grandparents were sick. 
Um, my son was sick. And so it just felt like things were hitting me and my village was not able to village. And so I felt very just overwhelmed. So I, I told the Lord permission to quit. Like my mental just wasn't there. And I was like, I'm tired of pouring out. I'm tired of being needed. And then the election happened. And I don't talk politics. I don't tell people who to vote for, how to vote. Just vote, right? And I, the feeling from the election that I'm sure everyone felt that defeat, that what's the point? It like hit even harder because that was already what I was feeling in my, in my personal life. Like, like the feelings that the country felt as a whole, like that doom the next day is how I'd been feeling for weeks. And I was like, God, permission to quit. Like, I, I don't want to do this. And in my want to quit, the answer basically was no, because people kept needing me. I was constantly needed for things. And I literally was on the verge of just like walking away from work, walking away from ministry. And a song played. And I've heard this song so many times. And when I heard it this time, it was like it clicked. So if you've never heard the song, go listen to um, the story I tell. I'll, I'll post it up here somewhere um, with Naomi Rain. So the song says, the hour is dark. It's hard to see. What you are doing here in the rooms and where it will lead. And it continues to talk about like how you have to replay what he's already done. And I don't know, it was like those lyrics hit me because it resonated and I was like, it is like, what is going on? Why do I have to keep feeling like this? And it was that perspective all over again, that mindset shift. Like it's not what's being done to me. It's what I'm needing to learn in this season, right? So I was like, it's either a lesson or it's an attack. And I think that was what I needed to navigate through. Like, is it a lesson or is it an attack? If it's a lesson, great. What is he teaching me? Endurance, patience, um, flexibility, um, that I'm not in control, he is. So let it go either way. If it's an attack, what am I learning from the attack? Well, there has to be something on the other side that I don't know is coming, but the enemy is sensing. And so he's like, I can't let you have that. Like, I can't let you get there. I have got to distract you. I have got to defeat you. I have got to make you just feel like everything's falling apart. So you quit and don't get to where you need to be. So. The Lord basically said permission to quit is not granted and I could quit. I'm never going to get to what I want to get to. And then he's going to need somebody to fill in the gap of what I was supposed to do. So not only do I not get to where I need to be, but I'm not fulfilling my purpose and we can't have that. So I took some time to feel what I needed to feel, feel what I needed to feel just about life happening to me feel what I needed to feel about the election and the results and whatever else, feel what I need to feel about the uncertainty of things. And then I had to let it go and we have to keep pushing. So this message, this video, this here is just encouragement. I cannot come on here and talk about transforming my life and my mind without sharing what is really going on mentally. Like, it's hard. It's not easy. Every day is not easy. And I did not want to come back and just jump right into videos like everything has been okay when it hasn't. So temperature check. If you're not, if you're not mentally where you want to be, if you are suffering, take a break. Permission to pause, not quit. Pause, take care of yourself, regroup, and know that we can't control anything but ourselves. And so no matter what's going on, no matter what attack is happening, no matter what lesson you are learning, there's a purpose behind it. Somebody is waiting for you to do what you need to do. So we cannot quit. So the definition of transformation, a thorough and dramatic change in form or appearance. Transformation is not going to be easy, which is why I wanted to document this journey. But it's going to be so worth it.